Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. I hope you all are doing amazing. I'm so excited for today's video because today I'm reviewing some very hyped niche fragrances and I've been super curious to try some of these fragrances and after I've tried them I can't wait to review them for you guys because some of these fragrances are like the most magical fragrances that I've ever smelled in my life so I just can't wait to share them with you guys so yeah I just want to say thank you to Sensplit for sponsoring this video and for sending me these samples so that I can review them for you guys today. I always recommend sampling fragrances before you buy a full bottle, especially when it comes to niche fragrances. Perfume is a very individual thing and you might not have the exact same taste as the reviewer or the person that recommended the fragrance to you. And that's why companies like Sensplit are so amazing because they allow you to be able to try these fragrances out before you buy them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this review and without further ado, let's get started. So I just want to show you guys what it looks like when you receive samples from them. So as you can see, it's just a plain box and it says scent split here on the top and then you take it out and then you have your perfume samples on the inside. So these are two more samples and then you also get um, five more samples like these. So yes, let's start with Dates Delight from the House of Oud. I've tested all of these fragrances before to really get to know them and so I can smell the dry down because obviously when you first spray a fragrance you get like the top notes and everything so you really want to let it settle before you form your full opinion. So I have tested them once before but I'm just going to review them now again. And this one opens up as a beautiful, warm, spicy fragrance. And I definitely get like a Coca-Cola, dates and cinnamon opening from this fragrance. But when it settles, it becomes kind of like a little bit smoky, it's warm, it's spicy. I've personally never been to Dubai, but if I had to imagine what it smells like, I would imagine it smells something like this, like warm, spicy, smoky, luxurious. It just smells incredible. So this is a sweet vanilla spicy fragrance with dates, with tonka bean, caramel, labtanum, honey, and cinnamon. So as you can imagine, it's a very sweet but rich and spicy blend. It's just a very romantic and kind of sexy fragrance. It's very warm. I definitely think that this is a unisex fragrance. I definitely think both men and women can pull this off and yeah, I think it's absolutely incredible. So next we're going to try Virgin Island Water by Creed. So let's give it a try. Okay, so it opens up very citrusy. It basically has almost like the citronella essential oil um, opening to me. Very strong citrus, almost sharp in the opening. Yes, I do get the touch of the coconut in here, but in the opening I would say it's mainly citrus. And what I remember from the dry down is that once it settles, once the opening, like the sharp citrus opening settles, it becomes more like expensive and rich smelling. Okay, already the coconut is coming through and it's becoming more smooth. This one also has ginger, bergamot and sugar cane. So it's a very sweet citrus coconut fragrance. I definitely think it's unisex. And definitely this one is for summertime, 100% summertime by the beach or something like that. I think this is just a nice freshie. It's not like the most wow fragrance in my opinion, but it's a very nice fragrance if you want to feel fresh and breezy or you're going on holiday somewhere warm. I think this will make you feel very like expensive, but fresh at the same time. Next up, we're going to try Lune Feline. And this one is a vanilla fragrance, like a vanilla Vanilla, ambery, resinous fragrance, 100%. Yes, it opens up very strong, very resinous and ambery. It almost gives me like a herbal, kind of a herbal balm feeling. This one has cinnamon, it has cardamom, which you definitely get in the opening. It has musk, it has cedar, it also has pink pepper and Peru balsam. This almost reminds me of Fragrance du Bois Minuit et Zemi. Um, this one I would say is just a little bit less spicy, more vanilla and definitely more like medicinal. Like it definitely has this herbal feeling, uh, which is especially strong in the opening. This one actually has gold flakes. Like I can even see in the sample that it does have gold flakes in it, which I think is awesome. So next we have 51 Essence de Parfum by Raja. And I have been wanting to try this fragrance since forever. 
so let's review it so this one has a more sharp opening but it's absolutely beautiful like you can tell this is going to develop into an absolutely gorgeous fragrance this is one of the fragrances from when i tested them that really made me say like wow like this one is magical it gives me an impression of a more mature lady but a very sophisticated classy and elegant lady so this one is absolutely beautiful it has a beautiful comforting familiarity about it and definitely it's something magical it's a powdery sweet vanilla floral fragrance with tuberose and gardenia just imagine the song i love you for sentimental reasons by nat king cole playing with birds chirping in the background like that's kind of what this fragrance smells like if i had to describe it in a little bit of a different way it's very smooth it has sandalwood it has orris it has violet so it's kind of smooth but powdery it almost has a vintage feel about it but it's definitely magical and it reminds me of a classy lady like audrey hepburn it also has a comforting and motherly aspect to it so this one is definitely a magical fragrance definitely a must try so the next one is the 51 original perfume by raja and this one and the 51 Essence de Parfum, they're very similar, but this one is not as sharp in the opening. It has this beautiful, natural, fruity opening, and it's so classy. It gives me like a banana, a really fancy banana custard, creamy kind of smell, which I'm assuming is coming from the Ylang Ylang. So this one has Ylang Ylang, Gardenia, Tuberose, and Cloves, so it's a beautiful floral but spicy opening this one is a little bit more fruity and creamy opposed to being powdery like the essence the only thing is that i wish it would last a bit longer so this one fades faster than the essence to perform from what i've noticed so once again i would say this is for a more mature lady but it definitely gives a magical aura that's super classy and feminine it almost gives me like a vintage hollywood star kind of feeling so next we have keep glazed and this one is also from the house of oud so this one is a fragrance with men Mango, coconut, whipped cream and ginger. So as you can imagine, it's very fruity. It's quite delectable. It also has strawberry leaf, musk and fruity notes. And this one to me is definitely like a little bit of a dry woody scent. Like it gives me the fruity, juicy mango in the opening. But when it dries down, it's like a dry, woody scent. So the next one has also been hyped recently and it's La Capitale by Zhirzhov. So let's give it a try. It definitely feels magical, it definitely feels very feminine. This one is basically a fruity, sweet, warm, leathery and spicy fragrance. So I think it's gorgeous, the opening is gorgeous. Yeah, it almost gives a little bit more of a more familiar female fragrance DNA. Um, but there is something more sparkly and more like magical about it than just any other sweet fruity fragrance. This one has strawberry, it has caramel, it has ginger, labdanum, saffron, vanilla, rose, peach and benzoin. So it is quite fruity, um, a little bit floral. Ooh, I really enjoy this fragrance. Wow. I feel like this is just like an easy to wear, easy to throw on fragrance. I think it's very versatile. It's not super different or anything, but I think this is like the perfect fragrance if you want something that's crowd pleasing, very likable. I'm sure you'll get a lot of compliments from wearing this fragrance. So the next one I've been absolutely obsessed with, like this one is beautiful. And this one is Oceania by Raja. Oh my gosh. This is the perfect men's fragrance, like the perfect men's fragrance. It's beautiful. This one, once again, has a sharper opening, but when it settles, I promise you guys, this one is incredible. Wow. This one is amazing. Like this is such a classy, but also expensive smelling fresh fragrance. And a lot of times fresh fragrances just don't smell as expensive, but this one smells opulent. It's so beautiful. This on a man would be just perfect. The opening almost gives me like Como vibes. It feels watery, it feels oceany, and I guess that's why the name is Oceania, but it just has this watery, opulent feeling. It's just very classy and beautiful and masculine. It has lavender, bergamot, grapefruit and lime, rosemary, thyme and cedar, moss and juniper berries, labdanum and benzoin, and it almost has a slight citronella essential oil scent as well. It also has geranium and vetiver, 
and it just has this overwhelming gentle but kind of a deja vu feeling to it and I let my mom smell this as well and she said the exact same thing it feels like it reminds you of happy and uncomplicated times in your life and this one is a work of art so really this is an incredible work by Raja I think it's amazing if you really want a perfume that's fresh but that smells classy and that really captures like something magical and that will give people like this deja vu and familiarity feeling then definitely try Oceania by Raja. So next we have Rehab by Inisho. I've also heard loads of things about this one and I've been very curious to try it. So these are what the 5ml bottles look like. This one has lavender, it has cedar, it has bergamot, sandalwood and musk and vetiver and I definitely get the cedar and the vetiver from this fragrance 100%. It's very woody with a slight fruity punch and it definitely smells classy and expensive and sexy I would say that this is a more masculine leaning fragrance um, so yeah if you like woody fragrances if you want something that's like dry woody you like vetiver I really enjoy vetiver yeah if you want something masculine dark sexy and woody definitely try rehab by Inisha so next we have another fragrance from Inisha and this one is high frequency Okay, so it opens up very floral, sharp and floral is what I would say. It definitely has a vintage feeling to it, like definitely vintage, like more of like uh, something that you'd smell in an older house, like it almost has like a luxury home diffuser vibe, but in a vintage way. So high frequency does have quite a sharp opening, um, but it almost has an animalic scent to it as well. and. It's definitely very vintage. I don't know how to explain it other than being like vintage. It gives me a strong vintage feeling. I would say it's a more mature fragrance and it's definitely unisex. Like I think both men and women can wear this, maybe leaning a little bit more feminine. It has magnolia, it's floral, it has almonds. So this one is not my personal favorite, but if you want something that smells kind of vintage and retro, then definitely try High Frequency by Inisho. Thank you so much for watching till the end of the video. If you did, then comment a sunflower emoji so that I can see you watches my videos till the end. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's review and that you found it helpful and that it maybe helped you decide what fragrance you want to try next. So definitely use Sensplit to try your samples for your niche fragrances and once again thank you so much to Sensplit for sponsoring this video and making today's review possible. If you enjoy videos like this about fragrance, fashion and lifestyle then subscribe down below and I will also link my Instagram in the description and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!